Aaron, that illegal pot grow was found about five miles up the road from where I am here on Pine Canyon Road. And today we're learning more about that special unit designed to track down and destroy those illegal pot gardens. In a one week span, two illegal pot grows in South Monterey County were raided on Pine Canyon Road and nearby Halone Road. More than 5,300 pot plants confiscated along with 300 pounds of processed weed. And we're doing everything we can to concentrate on illegal grows. Before recreational pot became legal in California, large indoor and outdoor pot gardens were illegal. The focus was on eradication through all means. Now that pot is legal, the focus has shifted. A special team called Comet, short for County of Monterey Enforcement Team, responsible for weeding out the bad from the good. When it was an eradication team, all weed was illegal. They took down everything they can. I mean, they'd strive to get as many pounds as they could. This is 10 years ago, but now that it's an enforcement, it's, it's balancing what's legal, what's not, what can we take, what can we not take. The special unit, well informed on pot laws, permit process, and regulations so law enforcement doesn't accidentally raid a legitimate grow operation. The unit funded by taxes and fees paid by legal cannabis growers who play by the rules, unlike illegal growers who continue to supply a black market that drives pot prices down are competing essentially in the same market with the black market. And you can't compete with them because they don't have the same overhead. In order to have a stable regulated market, we need the illicit operators to be taken out of the equation. So they, our clients and people in the legal regulated industry support this. And there are the concerns with these illegal grows. Their pot is not tested for chemicals or pesticides. And in most instances, like the cases we're talking about now, guns are typically found. So far, no arrests have been made in either case. Aaron? Felix, thank you.